Welcome to AmirAcademy.com. In engineering economics, let us discuss about sinking fund method. What is sinking fund method? Sinking fund method is a method of calculating depreciation for an asset in which apart from calculating depreciation, it also keep aside a fund fund for replacing the asset at the end of its useful life. This method is used when an asset that need to be replaced or at high cost. At the end of some years, we need to replace a heavy machines like uh, heavier cost machines. So we have to uh, make a sinking fund before it. That means you have to time wise or every year, every six months, you have to pay some money to for the sinking fund to develop. To avoid paying for the replacement of asset at a time, companies maintain a sinking fund what that will help them recover the cost of the asset while also accounting for its depreciation. Sinking fund method is put into use by large scale industries such as utility industries that have a requirement for expensive long term asset to function. For example, Let's say you want to take a vacation in a year that will cost around $1,200. Rather than withdrawing the money from your emergency fund or using a credit card to pay for your trip, you can set up a sinking fund. Each month you will add, for example, $100 to the sinking fund. It will be useful for heavier expenses. <clears throat> How sinking fund functions? Sinking fund functions as an account where the company stores fund in anticipation, anticipation that it will become difunctional after a certain point of time. Instead of expenditure that will arise at a time which an which can cause a significant impact on company's profit. It is better that such an expenses can be anticipated and the funds or replacement of such an asset can be made wisely. Under the sinking fund method, the depreciation that is charged for the asset is transferred to a sinking fund account. The same amount is then invested in securities issued by the government. Interest that is earned on such securities are reinvested. The interest that is earned on the amount invested as depreciation will also be invested and will be invested to the extent of the useful life of the asset. When the asset needs replacement, the investment which is done in the form of securities are sold and the asset will be purchased from the amount thus obtained. Also, old assets, book, old assets book value will be deposited to the sinking fund account. The value obtained by selling of selling off an old asset which can be either profit or less loss is then moved to the sinking fund account. The balance of the sinking fund, fund account is then further transferred to general reserve. The sinking fund account is also known as depreciation fund account. The sinking fund formula, look at here, the formula for sinking fund is A, is 1 plus R over M power N into M minus 1 into P over R over M, where A equal money accumulated. And the sinking fund money accumulated in final is uh, accumulated. P is the periodic contribution to the sinking fund. P is the periodic contribution. This is a total accumulation A. And R equal to rate of interest, N equal to number of years. M is number of payments per year. Normally, uh, some accounts uh, payable interest rates per year. Sometimes it is six months, four months, three months. Regarding that, the M value will change. That is M equal to number of payments per year. 
the periodic fun contribution can be calculated with the following formula p equal to periodic payments is p equal to this function will come down that is r over m is go up this expression that is 1 plus r over m power n into m minus 1 come down thus is here that is p so this formula is useful for winding the sinking fund here benefits of sinking fund it will improve the company's finances as the economic situation of your company will not be the same the need for replacing the high value asset can be determined to the company's financial position by having sinking fund the company can cover those expenses and it will keep the investors confident about the company that means if the company maintains sinking fund it give some confident to the investors about that company brings investment suppose due to the sinking fund it give bringing investment from outside also companies with a high level of debt are deemed as risky but a sinking fund instills confidence in the investors and can bring in further investment lower interest rate companies with a sinking fund can get investment for low interest rates now if the company maintains a good sinking fund the other outside companies is ready to give fund for lower interest rate for example look at this example a transformer cost 150000 rupees 150000 and has useful life of 25 years if the scrap value of the transformer is 10000 and the rate of annual compound interest is 7% then calculate the amount to be saved annually for the replacement of the transformer after the end of 25 years we have to find the sinking fund what time we have to find look at here the data is given initial cost of transformer let it be x equal to rupees 150000 scrap value of the transformer is equal to 10000 and useful useful life of transformer n equal to 25 years annual rate of interest is r equal to 7% look at here now that p value that is uh we call the periodic contribution we have to find p equal let it be x minus s scrap value into r over r over 1 plus r r power One four or four n minus one. Here, this factor that is r over one plus r four n minus one is a sinking factor. That is sinking interest factor. Uh, we have to apply the values. We equal one lakh fifty thousand minus ten thousand. Then R is zero point zero seven. Seven percent is point zero seven over one plus point zero seven over twenty uh, five years. Twenty five minus one, which gives by calculating this interesting factor and this. We'll get finally two thousand two hundred and two hundred and twelve point one eight. That is rupees this much amount for sinking fund every year.
one more question uh, no next here so far we have done about detail about sinking fund and we did some calculation calculating the p value that is uh, the periodic contribution we found for example we have done please subscribe our youtube channel